Hello, hello, everyone. I think we are live. Say hello in the comments if you are watching. I don't see it on my phone just yet. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Good afternoon, everyone. It's one o'clock on a Friday, and weather is looking okay. Hi, Charteria. Thanks for joining. If you are watching, be sure to uh, say hello down in the comments and also share this Facebook Live on your Facebook news feed. You are on the Hoboken Public Library Facebook page, and we are talking about um, how to have productive and effective manager meetings. So if you know anyone who will find this helpful, be sure to tag them in the comments and let them know to join in. Um, awesome. So I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes for more people to join. All right. So again, hello everyone. My name is Kimberly Bueno Shonig, and I am collaborating with the Hoboken Public Library to deliver you with amazing resources about career professional development um, and small business resources, um, all for free on the Hoboken Public Library's Facebook page. So if you are on watching this live, be sure to follow and like them on Facebook and make sure you leave a comment down below that you are enjoying these um, webinars. So again, be sure to like and follow them on Facebook and follow them on your social media platforms. So if you haven't yet, be sure to share this live on your newsfeed so more people can learn more about this. As you can tell from the first slide here, we are talking all about how to have a productive and effective manager meeting. All right, so who is the target audience for this presentation? Now, I like to start off my career professional development presentations with this question to kind of help you understand exactly the perspective it's coming from. So individuals that want to make the most out of their manager meetings right now, individuals that want to better understand if they are hitting expectations, or individuals interested in better understanding their future at their company are probably the individuals this presentation is going to be most helpful for. Um, because again, um, it is important to have productive and effective manager meetings and I'll explain later on in this webinar. So again, why should we have productive and effective manager meetings? Well, to be completely honest um, and transparent, my background in corporate has been with HR and so I know the the entire spectrum of recruitment and termination and performance improvement plans. So I understand the entire um, process of having an employee and offboarding. So I have been involved in a lot of manager meetings and I have been, I have been involved in conversations about performance and my intention in this presentation is to kind of help the employees that are um, in working, currently working or give insight to anyone that has wants a better idea about how to effectively ensure that you are kind of maintaining your performance because that is important. 
And having documented manager meetings essentially will allow you to not only have a stronger relationship with your ma manager, but your, a strong relationship with your manager can essentially lead to promotions, can lead to raises, can lead to an easier transition if you are trying to leave your role and move into another department in your company. So if you are interested in asking for a raise or promotion, having a detailed documentation can really, really effectively help your case during annual reviews. Um, and also, because I've worked in, you know, handling terminations and performance improvement plans, I do believe that having these meetings are protecting yourself as an employee. All right, so that might be kind of scary when I say protect yourself as an employee, but essentially protecting yourself really shouldn't be something you are thinking about if you work for a great company. However, I do want to say that it is really good practice to just keep document documentation of your performance or the responsibilities you've taken on because if you are in the situation where you do want to ask for a raise or you do want to move industries or departments in the same company, this is where you can kind of help build your case. Oops. So before I move forward, I do want to talk about three parts today and let you know what to expect in this, in this webinar. So essentially, I'll be going over understanding your manager's role, your role, and your goals. And on top of that, I will conclude this webinar with some tips on how to effectively have those manager meetings. All right, understanding your manager's role. So your manager's role, essentially, if you want to think about it, most companies have a vertical structure. And what that really entails is that you have a manager, you have direct reports. Um, essentially, if you are reporting to someone, they are considered your manager. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you are reporting to just one manager. There are particular instances where you might be reporting to multiple people um, across a series of departments. Um, and that can be common depending upon the type of industry you're in. So let's kind of dig in to exactly how the manager plays a role in the company. Essentially, the manager's role is to kind of be a support system, but also be sure to delegate and ensure that you are hitting expectations. So really what they have to kind of be answering um, to their manager is, is their team hitting your expectations or hitting the company's expectations? What is the likelihood of retention? Are the are employees feeling really good about their role, feeling really good about their company? Is the team maintaining per positive performance? Is the role or the team a good fit for the overall company team? And they really are going to ask you are, are going to ask questions to themselves if you are the type of individual that can help out with other responsibilities. So what I kind of want to talk about in particular for this manager's role is for this part of the presentation is essentially the manager is not only having to be responsible for doing their job, doing the responsibilities that they need to get done. But they are also responsible for ensuring that you can get your job done and you are doing it at the performance that they are expecting. Now, your manager can be someone that can advocate for you if you are someone that should receive a raise or promotion, or say, for example, um, you are trying to make moves in your company, they can be someone that can advocate for you. And having their recommendation in these things, it can be a strong player in any type of application.
So now what I want to do is go over your role. So now that we've kind of talked about um, a little bit about how you should envision and how you should think about your manager's role, it's really critical for you to kind of understand your role in the company. Now it might be a little bit already transparent, but there are some things that might not be as transparent as you take on a role or if you've been with a company for so long, um, it might not be as clear. So what's important, whether you've been with the company for 15, 20 plus years, or if you've just started, what's important to understand is that, especially if you're someone who's been with the company for 15, 20 years, it, I would recommend that you review your original job description. Because raise your hand if you've ended up taking responsibilities over that weren't necessarily mentioned when you first joined the company. Or maybe as you've grown into your role, you've been willing and been helpful in taking on more responsibilities. Now, if you're raising your hand, I completely understand because I've been in that boat as well. Now, your role in the company is essentially making sure that you fulfilled your responsibilities, right? So you have to make sure you review your job description and make sure that what was asked of you is actually getting fulfilled. So my recommendation is noting down what responsibilities you have completed that has been listed in your job description. And this is important for, to understand because this is what's going to be a defining factor, especially when you have annual reviews to, to inform your manager about what you've been able to successfully accomplish and what you've accomplished outside of those responsibilities. So now, going into the next point into this slide, I highly, highly recommend that you write down responsibilities you've taken on that was not actually listed in your original job description. And I would recommend being as detailed as possible because it is incredibly important for you to understand that this is a way for you to better understand what your role was initially and what your role has become. And the reason for this is because when you are having those manager meetings, you can relate to them like, I understand that when I first took this role or when I took this role, you know, X amount of years or X amount of months ago, this was the expectations. However, I would like to let you know that I have taken on more responsibilities and I have been excited to take on these responsibilities, but I did want to let you know that I am going above and beyond in my job role or what I have done for the company. If you've been with a company for 15, 20 plus years, and if you're still maintaining the same title that you've had, and that's because of your own choice um, or anything else, then I would really suggest doing this. So that way, if you feel that you could be uh, making a move later down the line, or if you are somewhat um, unsure if the pay that you are receiving is fair, you can have that transparent conversation with your manager and ask them and say, I think based upon the responsibilities that I've taken on and the responsibilities that I was asked to do initially, um, I am a firm believer that I have been a strong uh, employee. All right, so now what I want to go into is really your goals as the employee of a company. Now that we've kind of talked about the manager's role, what they're really intended to do, and then how that works with your role as an employee of a company. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk a lot about your goals is because I think this is an important characteristic that is not going to be the same um, amongst everyone. Everyone is going to have their own unique goals. Everyone is going to have their own envision of how they see their future. So this is a great, um, these next couple slides is kind of just a way to, to further think about 
what exactly you want out of your professional career and even if you are currently unemployed I think this presentation is going to be incredibly helpful when you do land the job that you want so that way you are better prepared as an employee to really understand exactly how you should have these manager meetings. Not only is having productive effective manager meetings um, a good look when you do have them but it shows that you are prepared. It shows that your work ethic is um, above average, right? It, it shows that you are very serious about your career at the company which is a great, great way to kind of showcase who you are as an individual in the company. All right, so let's talk about your goals, right? Um, again, everyone's goal is going to be different and maybe this is a time where you can take out a pen and paper to really help identify exactly, you know, what it is you want out of these meetings. Um, your goals. So identify your goals. Do you, in, in terms of you being at this company or if you are currently unemployed, identify your goals um, when you do end up working for the company or landing the job that you want. You need to identify your goals for that company. Do you want more responsibilities? Is that the type of um, individual you are? Do you want to climb up the ladder? Do you want to have a managerial role? Is that the type of individual that you want to be? Do you want to be able to delegate and have a team and encourage them and support them and have them thrive in the company? Do you want a raise? What do you want a promotion? Do you want to make lateral moves in your company? Um, identify what exactly your purpose is and what you are bringing to the table. And for individuals that are currently unemployed, ha using this strategy to kind of help figure out what exactly your goals are and if you are able to deliver them in an interview, that can be a strong factor in you moving forward in the interview process because you are providing clear, exact expectations, clear goals, and what does a company want more they want an individual who knows exactly what they want and how they're going to benefit the company so by having the this activity of you writing down exactly what you um, want and what your purpose is and what you want to bring to the table that's only going to elevate you as a professional All right. So, so some questions that I also think that you need to consider heavily is what are your goals? Do you want to stay at the company long term? If you are someone who is 15, 20, who've been working for a company for 15, 20 plus years, um, ask yourself, this is a perfect opportunity to ask yourself, do you want to continue staying at the company long term? Or do you feel like you want to switch careers at the same company? Do you want to switch departments? Do you feel that you have done everything you could in that department to improve the company, to better it? And now you are ready to switch over and start a completely different direction in that company. I highly recommend that you be very, very specific with your goals and map it out for yourself, especially if you are someone who, are, who is currently unemployed but has had experience with another company for 15, 20 plus years. It is incredibly, incredibly crucial for you to be able to really, really define exactly what your goals are, how you map out your goals and intentions so that way you can coherently speak to those goals and it will translate and it will show how serious you are in the application process so i understand that sometimes talking about this might be a little bit overwhelming um, so I am going to talk a little bit about why I think these three sections is important to come about. And um, and if you are new to these webinars that I host on the Hoboken Public Library's Facebook page, um, I just want to reiterate my background has been in HR and um, I'm working collaboratively with the Hoboken Public Library to give as many, many resources as we possibly can to help you on your professional journey um, and if you are looking for a job to help you land that job. Now in this particular slide I want to talk about 
human resources because I think um, most companies really do have a formal HR department but from my time working in HR a lot of people did not know that they could go to HR they did not know they can go to them for help or support they didn't even know HR existed and I think this is something that has kind of inspired this particular webinar because I do think that human resources can be a vital uh, advocate for you on your professional journey, especially if you've been someone that has been working for the company for 15, 20 plus years. If you've been working for a company for 15, 20 plus years, you are an asset to that company. You are incredibly important and um, most companies want someone who is going to stay with them long term. Now, to kind of further elaborate about HR, HR is there to support employees and to help them fit, feel great about what they do, right? That is what HR is supposed to do. HR is supposed to address any issues, any concerns, any any anything that is supposed to um, that is related to your work environment or how you feel in your role. Now, HR is supposed to be your advocate, right? They are supposed to listen to you and uh, hear your experiences, um, especially if you are raising a concern. They are also there to, to inform you of any opportunities if you are interested um, in doing a lateral move, etc. Now, it obviously varies on how you communicate to your HR, if you have to go to your manager first and then HR. It varies amongst companies and um, I would really first have a conversation um, with yourself exactly what your goals are, right? Um, and once that is completed, you want to be able to talk to HR about that. Now, sometimes HR gets a bad rap because they're the ones dealing with any concerns about work environment, but that is not all that they do. HR is really supposed to be there and help you th through the process if you are trying to um, apply to a new role at the company. They are there to help you with the process if you are trying to um, get a promotion or get a raise. Um, they are there to kind of give you more information about exactly what the process is and make you feel good about your time at the company. All right, so now we're gonna go into um, essentially the meetings with your manager. Now that we've talked about the three parts, your manager's role, your role, your goals, um, at least now you kind of have a structure about how you envision um, yourself in the company, how you, uh, what your goals are, how you define them, how you envision yourself um, and your future. All right, so these are the tips that I wanna talk about when you are having your manager meetings. Because again, I, what I hear sometimes from employees is that they're actually not having manager meetings um, frequently. And, and, and for me personally, I would always recommend that you have either monthly, bi-weekly, quarterly manager meetings, some sort of frequency. So that way you are getting feedback about your performance, you're getting feedback or you're learning about other opportunities in the company if you are interested in it. Um, this is how you build a relationship with your manager, right? And it's important that you develop a strong relationship with your manager because they can be an advocate um, later down the line for you. And if you are um, now realizing that you don't have manager meetings, do not worry because these next slides will kind of give you some insight on how to kind of uh, uh, structure those meetings. So the way I would approach manager meetings is essentially having an agenda. Sometimes, depending upon who your manager is, they'll already have an agenda to go over. Sometimes it will it will be a, it will come in terms of a team meeting. However, I do recommend that you have what is a more common term in the industry, one-on-one -on -one meetings. Right. So that is a, a meeting between you 
alone with your manager to discuss uh, certain things about your work, or your performance, or your experience at the company. Now, when you are approaching these individual one-on-one -on -one manager meetings, what I highly, highly recommend you do is write down notes so you can keep track of significant mentions about your performance. What's really, really important for you to do um, during these manager meetings is to note the date, the time, Note the individuals in the meeting if you have more than one manager and make sure to be as detailed as possible because you want to make sure that you are writing down if there are any feedback that you need to improve on and be able to relate to your manager and check back in to see if you've improved on those skill sets or if there's something that you've gone above and beyond and, and your manager is very proud of what you've been able to accomplish, that is something you can write down. So, so something, something I recommend, recommend and, and say for example you are currently a manager, manager um, you, you can, can do this as well with your manager. manager. Um, I, I recommend this for any type of employee, employee whether or not you, whether, whether, um, wh wherever you are on the vertical structure. Um, I highly recommend that you send an email to your manager with a detailed description of what was discussed after the one-on-one -on -one meeting is over as soon as possible so you can ask for confirmation from your manager that what you spoke about is agreed upon. Um, sometimes what ends up happening is that if an employee is speaking to their manager and they're not able to um, clearly uh, speak to what their experience is or how they can improve. Sometimes there's a misunderstanding and I just recommend that if you are an employee trying to improve your improve, uh, performance or if you're trying to ensure that what you are doing is great, um, following up with an email right after with your manager just confirming, hey, Thank you so much for your time and attention during our one-on-one -on -one meeting. I just wanted to follow up and confirm that this is what was discussed, whether it was this is what I need to improve in my role, my job function, or this is what I have done well in my job function or role, just so that way I can make sure to maintain my performance or, if necessary, improve it. So the reason why I'm all about documentation is because this is really, really important, especially if you are asking for your manager to advocate you, um, be an advocate for a promotion or a raise. Um, typically what happens is that there are annual reviews and that's when you can be eligible for a bonus even or a promotion or a raise. And what needs to happen is you need to have a, uh, uh, sometimes their manager might come out and say, oh, I, you know, I want to uh, have you go through this process. But say, for example, if that doesn't come up, you are more than welcome to bring that up and raise it to your manager and say, hey, you know, given our conversations, I think I've done a great job of taking on these responsibilities. Seems like from our conversations, I've, I've been doing a pretty uh, I've been performing pretty well and um, I wanted to know if there were any opportunities either moving departments or figuring out a way where I can get um, a promotion, right? Um, obviously, this is something that you have to come prepared with because annual reviews do happen and this is a time where your managers will just heavily go into further detail about your performance right and the reason why I also want to say if you're not having these uh, manager meetings to have them is because sometimes employees will be taken back by negative feedback that they may have at their annual review um, and what ends up happening is you can have those manager meetings so that way you can ensure that you're maintaining your positive performance right because your manager needs to be able to understand how you're performing and if you're asking the right questions and you're confirming that you're performing well, this is a great way for you to better understand your, the expectations that have been set for you and how your role is supposed to be. Um, let me see if I have another slide. So. 
I want to conclude this presentation ending there, but I do want to open it up to any questions anyone may have about manager meetings, any questions that they have about um, the, their professional or career development. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. Um, especially during this time if you are trying to have a clear understanding about what your role is, how you play a part in the company, hopefully you're able to set up manager meetings and have these effective productive ones so that way um, you can um, better understand your role. So now if I am just quiet for a few minutes, I am going to leave it open for any potential questions or concerns. All right, it looks like we are all set and done. No questions have come up. However, if you're watching the replay, do not worry. You can leave a question down in the comments um, and tag the Hoboken Public Library and they or I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I hope it gave you some more insight on how to have productive and effective manager meetings. Um, if you, again, if you have any questions or if you have any topics you'd like to talk like me to talk about on the Hope Book and Public Library's Facebook page, please be sure to send them an email and let them know that you were enjoying these webinars and you want to see more. Um, don't forget to follow and like the Hope Book and Public Library's Facebook page and I'll see you next week. Bye!